the Syrian movie. guy that did that you want to you want to hang with the big boys or something chill like that. with the big boys yeah chill with yeah. the big boy and the south african yeah. jerusalem mm-hmm. is a good example of what mm. you're exactly. talking about yeah so yeah. no you you're actually speaking truth here so we yeah, can we can, they can you see this you see yeah. this these young people we can make them millionaire right because we always say if you can be able to make 1000 shilling mm. then you can make a million true it's right. very very easy to make mm. money but along with that million shillings though it it sounds like we need a change in our value system because yeah. you see it's not the problem right. with africa or Af- the problem we have as africans in africa is not that there are less opportunities or less money like you said that there is enough resources in the world for all of our needs to be met but not enough for all of our greed to be satisfied right, right. Mm. so some of the problem i believe we have and we've touched on some of those mm. is values yeah how can somebody have a a, a thousand deeds to homes to exactly. village as yeah. values and definitely somebody is homeless and kids are have on no the place street. to go on the street. Yeah. It doesn't make sense. No, no, no. I want, it needs I want to start to, from the top, though. No, you no, can't no, no, be no, talking no. about I values. Want, I want to answer that question yeah. out of my experience. Okay. I joined politics. Mm-hmm. I had very good plans for people. Good. And uh, I brought even so many people from my village. They mm-hmm. come and visited me. Mm-hmm. Right. We took photos with them. Mm-hmm. I really wanted to support them. Mm-hmm. Some of them I supported them because mm. I went there, tried to give money, whatever, paying school fees. But let me tell you something. Mm. The same people that you think you are supporting, the same people who will make, who will come up with fake accounts, they start insulting you. Oh. Why? I, those are, I don't know, those, that's the nature of, that's the biggest problem that you're having. It's true. Mm. There was a guy who vied uh, for a seat here in Nairobi. Mm. And he only had four votes. And he has like 10 people in his family, a bunch of friends. And, so and he had four votes. <laughs> Maybe his the... wife didn't even support no, him. No, leave alone that. <laughs> me, I can tell you, uh, let me tell you what happened. Wow. I used to go home. Wow. People used to come. I give them money. Right. <laughs> but uh, when yeah. it got to the time that we yeah. were going to vote, yeah, yeah. people said, we are going to vote for a poor person. This guy has a lot of money. Wow. And I was giving I was giving them that money. And they to decided help them out. to take somebody who was not giving money. So so that's interesting. Well, in some respect, maybe that's good. Maybe that's a one in a four. Maybe in some respect, maybe that's good, but why? Why did they do that? I want to answer your yeah. question. Yeah, yeah. And I want to be very open with you. It's yeah, yeah, please. There's a problem. Okay. Rich people uh-huh. unite in this country. Mm-hmm. As you are speaking right now, Mashmi mm-hmm. Arelo Dinga and the Ruto and these other people, I sit, most of these people, they're my neighbor. Mm-hmm. They talk to each other. They talk. Wow. But the problem is down here. Yeah. Divide and conquer. Right. Yes. Okay. Rich people talk. Rich right. people help each other. Right. I remember I was sitting somewhere mm-hmm. here within Lovington mm-hmm. with so many politicians. When the son or the daughter of Railo Dinga was being interviewed to go to, to represent Kenya in East African Parliament, I was with so many politicians. And uh, what happened? Those politicians who are against Raila, they said, Make sure that that girl mm-hmm. make it. Get the job. Get the job. Why? They said, we are also politician. We have children. Mm-hmm. Whatever we do to that girl, somebody else will do to our children. Mm-hmm. And that, that's how we got the job. Wow. So they have more in common with each other. No, no they think about future. Yeah. Right, right. Wow. But these poor right. people, they don't think about future. Yeah. Right. That's interesting. Wow. Interesting. Uh, just going back to having values and principles mm. and how uh, our politicians are the way they are, if the society is to change, you can't be looking down at the young people and expecting young people to change. We 
look up to you guys. Mm. You know, you, elder generation should lead by example. You can't tell us to be better Kenyans, better youth, and you guys are corrupt. Right. You have to, it has to start with you guys. Mm. You know, and so I don't know what do you is, think about. Isn't that? it too late for them though? Because maybe they've gone too far into this corrupt pathways. It's never that... too late, I think. So to come back and say, "Hey guys, this is what I did. I have done this. I accept it. It's wrong. We're gonna appreciate. We will emulate that. We will applaud and be like, "Wow, that's impressive. You can turn around. It's never too late." And I mean, I know we're talking about politics and business and all of that, but I'm just gonna bring a little bit of like. Um, uh, morality and mm -hmm. relationships as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, I know you said that you are the twentieth born from your family. How many um, uh, moms do you have, or stepmoms? Uh, two, two. My mom had eleven. The first mom had nine, so they're just two. Two moms. Yes. Okay. Well, I also come from a polygamous family. Mm -hmm. I had uh, three grandmothers, um, but that was then in the past that worked, where you could have two wives, three wives, and they were all friends. They took care of each other's children. And it was for, the, it was part of the culture. But right now you see elder people, like um, people maybe your age or even older, mm -hmm. um, having uh, a wife and a side chick. Right. And it's become the norm. Like or if you don't have, or even five, right, right. or you have one politician right. or one older guy with like five girls in his car. Mm. And this is so unnecessary. You know, it's it's immoral, it's wrong, it's sending a, a horrible message to the young people. Uh, young people don't even have proper relationships anymore because you look up and your dad has girls your age, you know, calling him. Mm. I mean, um, wow. so it's, there's a degradation mm. of the val society, society yeah, and yeah. The just morals, but it comes from the top. So I think that... Uh, let, let, let me tell, let me answer. You that guys question. need to do something about I, that. I, I come from a polygamous family, and I want to tell you something. Yeah. Uh, there's nobody who is proud of such kind of family. Let me be very honest with you. Is it? My dad used to drink alcohol. Call he used to call it changa. Those mm. local brew. Mm. He used to. He, he my I remember when my dad was alive. I have never. He has never even bought for me any present. I've never seen my dad sober. He was ever drunk. Mm. Shame. And uh, out of that, mm. I decided I'll never test alcohol. Mm. That's good. I've never tested alcohol. Really I've good. never smoked. Wow. Right. I come from a polygamous family. Uh, me and my sister from my mother's side and the other side, we don't talk to each other. Mm. Shame. And uh, I said, I will stick with one wife. Mm. You see, some of these things we learn out of experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I said, I'm very close friend to my wife. Mm -hmm. We always do we always do things together. Right, but uh, her company and my company are totally different. Mm -hmm. I'm not a director in her company. She mm -hmm. has her own freedom. Mm -hmm. She runs a microfinance company. That is a company. Mm -hmm. She make her own decision. But if you look at my children, I have three children. If you come to my house, we are all business minded. Mm -hmm. When I have an idea, we have a place where we sit and I present my idea to my family. Mm. When I present my idea to my family, they also go through it mm -hmm. and then they advise me. Mm -hmm. Even that's, my children, they are very good. smart. Yeah. That's really good. Because uh, my wife, my children, they are my best friend. Mm. I trust them. So everything that I have, my son, if he has an, any idea about business, he come, he prepare the proposal and everything. He come and say, I'm going to present my idea. Right. Mm -hmm. When I go to my wife, even sometimes when I don't have money, yeah. I borrow and I have to make sure that I give up, I give my wife back money with interest. All my children get salary from my company. They get salary from their mom's salary. They have mm -hmm. accounts. We pay them salary and we show them how to invest. That's if I borrow good. money from them, I have to pay with interest. That's pretty good. Yes. Yeah. So, they invest, they do their own thing, but they, I make sure that I show them what to do. Mm. We, we have to make sure that we have to show them. If you right. don't know, if you don't understand the value of money, right. sometimes right. You, you see people make mistakes. You say, right. ah, this is a thousand. Mm. Let me just throw it. Yeah. Right. You have to understand the value of the money. Value. And that's why you see yeah. uh, this young generation, the right. issue about if you see mm. a man sleeping around with this young generation, 
It's a, it's a matter of discipline. There's a, there's also a problem <clears throat> right. in the house. If right. you make, if you are the if you are the woman, you are, mm. you are my wife. You have mm. to make sure that you create an environment where I just feel like I want to stay with you. Right. I want yeah. to be in the house. Right. Yes. But you know there are men that are just fundamentally indisciplined. They they have no control of But let me tell anything. you. Let me tell you something. There's yeah. A, I mean, there's, I a, there's a day. There's a day that yeah. you are in love, isn't it? Absolutely. What happened? I mean, people, people, I mean, like, okay, here's how it works, right? Yes. So maybe you have a new car. Yeah. And then after 10 years, there's newer one, better one, right? Yeah. And so you like the newer no, no, one. No, you cannot better compare one. human being with cars. Obviously, it's an illustration. It breaks down, but it's, it's sort of like the way that it works for most men. They're just drawn to beauty and attraction and they don't have Let the me, commitment and you're, the discipline. You're a man like me. And I am. we men, yeah. when I, when you look at your wife, yeah, yeah. the only thing that you will keep on remembering mm. is the first day you met that woman. That is the picture that you'll keep on. Right. See, the first day, mm. what attracted you to that woman? Right. So the moment you start having those changes mm. is either from, either from you mm -hmm. or from the wife. Right. But the first day I met her, mm. right, she was younger, much more attractive, and she behaved in such a beautiful you too. way. Right? You too, yeah? Right. But, <laughs> but, <laughs> you too. <laughs> right, but, but, but oh, here's how, here's how I work. Yes. Now, obviously, yes. obviously, I, I'm a pretty disciplined guy. Yes. I don't run around with women. Mm. My team will tell you that. Mm. I, don't, I, I don't particularly think that it is prudent mm. to have dealings with more than one woman at a time. Yeah, yes. Right? So I'm actually playing the devil's advocate right yes. here. Yeah, right? sure, sure. So I'm, I'm kind of trying to represent uh, a, a different kind of perspective here. But I am a pretty disciplined guy when it comes to relationship issues, right? Um, but just for the sake of argument, right? So yeah. these guys married this woman and maybe she pretended to be what she's not. And so they fell in love. And after a, a season, she switches, right? Mm. And becomes like a real witch, right? Um, a real nightmare for this guy. So this is not always the case, I understand. Mm. But sometimes this is the case. And so the guy doesn't feel, as you said, welcome back home. The home is no longer hospitable. And now the guy is looking for elsewhere to get some comfort, to get some love, to get some affection. Isn't that also something to be addressed? Not necessarily by the government, but by us as a society. Right, like why stay in a relationship that gives you no joy? Well, I think, I ultimately, I think that we should try more to keep families and relationships together. But I'm simply saying that sometimes it's understandable when men get away from their families, mm -hmm. but they shouldn't be running around maintaining five different women. That's mm -hmm. not what's right. I don't yeah. think that that's but I right. Think, I think, yeah. I think uh, as a leader, yeah. <clears throat> I always insist on family values. Very, very important. I agree. The moment you have a very strong foundation, mm -hmm. family foundation, mm -hmm. I don't think you will end up doing such such stupid thing. Because the biggest problem with family, that's why you see, is uh, being open to each other. Mm. And uh, being open to each other is um, the what brings problem in most of this family is right. money. Money. Money is the biggest problem. Because the moment you start having money. Uh, there's a problem with this young generation. You know, as a man, mm. there's one thing that I believe in mm. is that, uh, you know, a lady is supposed to be approached by a man. But when a man has money, ladies start approaching that man. And for a man to say no is not easy. And as a man say no, I believe as a Christian, there's a reward after that. Right. That is what people don't understand. Mm -hmm. And that's the discipline I was talking yes. about, right? So if you have discipline, you can say, oh, you flatter me by mm. your comments. Yes. But because I know I know his wife, I've met his wife, very beautiful sister, very beautiful lady, and two of your children, extremely talented young people. So maybe you are an exception because you're lucky and fortunate. 
right? You're married to a very beautiful, intelligent, smart lady, right? But I agree, most men do not have the discipline to be able to look at a morembo and say, no, 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 it's not about, it's not and about, say, not today, you know? It's not about men or whatever. Yeah, no, yeah. these people, the ladies are very smart. I know. Sure, they approach and they, they'll not come and tell you that I want to sleep with you. Right, right. They will start, even they can come with asking for some small, small favors. And yeah, as right. a human being, you start supporting them. You start helping. And you see, uh, the if you want to overcome any such kind of issues, anything that you do, mm-hmm. be open to your wife. Right. Tell your wife, this, yes, there's somebody who called me. There's this lady who called me and she really needs a support. Mm. If you want to put off that lady, tell her, I don't have money, but I'll talk to my wife to see whether my wife has two, three thousand to send to you. She will not come back again. She'll that's not an come interest. back. That's wow, an interesting <laughs> hope you're listening to <laughs> all these an, tips, <laughs> guys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, but but you know, we've we've had a lot of conversation yeah. here. Yeah. And it is really good, Alex, to have you. And I'm sure this is the first time, but it's not going to be the last, obviously. Sure. And in fact, listening to you, for me, it's almost like I'm thinking at the, at the back of my mind. Alex needs a podcast where she can, <laughs> where he can come in either by himself mm-hmm. or in conversation with somebody else, but his own podcast where he can just have this conversation because... You are like a wealth of knowledge all by yourself, yeah. you know. And I know that we can probably be here for <clears throat> a couple more hours. <clears throat> and excuse me, and you will still have more conversation to be had. But let's dead end it here, but not before I ask you this one last question, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, or no, no, two more questions. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Two more, two more. Okay. And I wouldn't go beyond that. Two more. Okay. So first of all, you know, I know you are a Christian, sure. you know, Alex, mm. and obviously it's the Christmas season now and yes. people around the world, Christian people around the world are coming up to this Christmas time. Yeah. Do you have a message for Christians around the world? First of all, Christians in Kenya and then in East Africa, Africa and around the world. Do you have a message for them yeah. in this time? Yeah, uh, what I want just to tell them is yeah. uh, I want you guys to make sure that you keep safe. Mm. Especially during this time, we always in Kenya, we always have so many accidents. Mm. And you enjoy your Christmas right. as we prepare for the new year. Mm-hmm. And number two, I want to tell you Christmas is all about sharing. Mm. Whatever you have, mm. make sure that you share with one or two people. Mm-hmm. Uh, there are those people who can't even afford to buy. You know, mm-hmm. if you come to a, our village, there are those who believe during Christmas time I must have, I should buy a new cloth. Mm. Uh, even me, after this, I want to go to Isili. Mm-hmm. I buy some cloth, I send them home mm. so that they can be given to those children who That's cannot afford. Mean. And then uh, the other thing that uh, I also know the biggest problem that you're having, especially from our village, mm-hmm. there are so many single mothers. Mm. Mm-hmm. So many single mothers who are not working or mm-hmm. struggling to pay school fees. Mm-hmm. And uh, those are people that we should remember them. Mm-hmm. Uh, I just want to tell each and everyone who is listening to us to make sure that uh, you go, you see our village in our area, mm-hmm. when you're a woman, mm-hmm. And you get married. Mm. When you divorce with your husband, mm. you are not supposed to come back to the house. You either go and look for a place to rent or where you stay. The oh, you're not allowed back home. You are not. It's not like you could, you're not allowed back. So yeah. you can imagine those people the way they are struggling. Mm. Those are the people that we are going. I have a foundation. Mm. I have a foundation that uh, I always make sure that I use it to support them. What's it called? Kidake Foundation. I have an office at Mbale. Okay. So, Foundation. Kidake Foundation. So what I'm going to do is uh, this, I said this new year, right. 2023, mm. my company has a target of connecting 1,000 youth to jobs. Mm. Every year I want to make sure I connect minimum mm. 1,000 people. To jobs. Yes. Whether locally or internationally. Mm-hmm. Uh, that is my work. I'm going to make sure that I look for those opportunity and I connect them. That's I think great. I think we can partner with that in, yes. in some ways. Mm-hmm. It's, a, it's a very noble aspiration Cause. because yeah. if you're providing a job for one family, 
you're not just for one person. You're not just supporting the one person. Yeah. You're supporting families, like you yeah, mentioned. True. You know, so that's a really good thing. Yeah, that Thank is, you. That is, a, that, Thank is a, you. that is something. I think I've answered Thank your question. You. No, you have. You have. So, so you want people to be safe, to remember to share, and also to remember the less fortunate amongst us. Mm-hmm. That's almost a, a, a biblical teaching, you mm-hmm. know, to the extent that you've done to the least of these. Jesus yeah, would say, you've sure. also done to me. Thank you for that.